Hi everybody, welcome back to Cruise Travel Life. And today we are at Perfect Day at Coco Key. I don't know if you can see it behind me or not, but it's too bright for me to even see the screen. Uh, but we're gonna do the pool, sit by the pool, get some chicken sandwiches, get some Coco Logos, all that fun stuff. Next door is Great Store at Key. But the Norwegian Escape was supposed to be in. Uh, she has sailed away, so I'm assuming she's not uh, coming um, to Great Store at Key today sailed by a probably too rough for tendering this morning so let's head ashore and see what kind of fun we can get into all right everyone the goods have been gotten coco logo number one probably the coldest pool i've come in in a long time uh, that was like cold, but it didn't actually get that deep, um, so but not bad, but it's still cold. So, we'll see what we get into after this. Might actually stay in the pool, maybe, because once you eat it, it's not bad, but let's we'll see what we get into so, today at Coco Key. Welcome to the Coco Key Pool Adventures Part 2. If you watched the Oasis video, which I haven't edited yet, but it was cold too and it's cold now it's nice and empty though head over to the bar this time gonna make it because there's like nobody over there so there's no like no reason to fight for people so let's get a coca loco from the sport bar and i'm like tiptoeing trying to stay as least submerged as possible because it is like 20 degrees in this pool and i can't tell if my legs are going numb or if i'm used to it all right everybody i think cold jumping in here just wanted to give a little commentary throughout our day at coco key so we got off the ship around nine o'clock um, got a spot by the pool, got some Coco Locos, got in the pool. That was a fun adventure. Fla I got flashbacks. And I, was, I was like, wait, didn't I just have this like same scenario when we were on Oasis? I'll link the Oasis Coco Key video down below. Um, but then uh, we got chicken sandwiches, french fries from the snack shack for lunch. And then we also, before we headed back to the ship, we, we took a walk around uh, the ocean just on the beach. We got some nice fish footage. So uh, let's roll that footage now. So yeah, it was just really cool to just be walking and see fish through the water and uh, just stick the GoPro down. And I was just hoping and praying I got some good footage. Uh, but then we headed back to the ship around noon. So let's head back aboard Odyssey of the Seas for a wonderful afternoon and evening on board. All right, everybody, we are back on the ship. It is about 12, 18. The ship is empty, like empty, empty. Um, so elevator, I hope I can talk. We uh, had a perfect day. We got off, I think it was about 8.30. So we spent about 13 and a half hours. I just wanted to come back on because the ship is empty, all that kind of stuff. And we're flying Southwest back, so I also need to check in at uh, like 1.45, I think is our flight. I need to check on that. I need to be ready and available for that. So, we had two Coco Locos and a chicken sandwich. And I probably got the uh, nachos one last time from a Loco Fresh. Oh, nice. No elevator. Happy Friday. That's my camera thing. Uh, we're turning my pool towel. Then I'm going to go down and do 145 on flight. Um, going to run down and then do Expedition 270. I meant to do that like Jamaica Day, but I forgot. So I'm going to run up, turn my pool towel. It's not a pool towel. I did get in the pool. I did get in the pool. It was really cold. I have the GoPro clip from the first time. 
the second time I just went for the drink and went out. Nothing really interesting happened because I was still a wet, so I'm still used to it. So yeah, we're gonna turn the hotel and then head down to 270 and do Expedition 270. I've already basically seen all the masks, so it's like a cheater, but we'll get into it. We'll see what that is, so yeah. Anyone else getting Mariner flashbacks right now when I talked about Symphony for like half the vlog? But we're actually even this time. Like, like what is this? And hey, we are the taller ship. I can't see what I'm filming, the sun's too bright. Uh, we have, I don't know if you can see it or not, but we have North Star. That makes us taller. Uh, yeah, so, hey, the ships are in line. Like, Mariner, no, mm, I, I might link that. Um, where I, I rambled about it. See, one thing I do miss is the cantilevered hot tubs. We were just on Oasis. I'm not kidding. I was back at Coco Key. I think it was like five weeks and six days ago. So it's like, you know, so much Coco Key. Um, one difference with the solariums, our solarium is completely covered. I cannot see what I'm going like. And theirs is open. I think that's the same way Oasis was, but different angle here but then on Mariner you can see down to the helipad and into the bridge we're all filming there cantilevered hot tubs double smoke stacks all that fun oasis class stuff i was running my towel so i thought i would just run and talk about symphony for a minute because i feel like we just have to do it and we talked about liberty on oasis yeah it's weird because i haven't edited that footage yet so it's like that weird like I remembered it happened, but I don't remember when I put it in the video. It's weird. Um, so yeah, I head back to the back of the ship, uh, drop down to deck five, do Expedition 270, and at 2.30, okay, so at 1.45, I would check us in for our flight. At 2.30, we are going up in the North Star, again, the free experience this time. Last time was the extended, I think it was $20 a person, not bad, uh, for the extended over the side of the ship. Uh, here in port, they only offer the basic experience, which you just go up. I think you go over a little bit, but you don't go over the side. So, we'll see what we get into. Actually, I just remembered. I'm up one. I'm not on 14. That's 15. And I'm on 15. They're even. 15 and 15 is even, so technically Symphony is taller. Uh, just with deck-wise. See the wonderful Windjammer Cafe. Actually, look fresh. It's on this side. A local fresh. A local fresh. I love a local fresh. Uh, yeah, I'm rambling. I feel like it's a Coco Key thing to ramble. It's that feeling in me to ramble on Coco Key Day. Let's head down to deck five. Do to 270 now. One thing I do also want to do, I want to go up to the 180, I think that's the 180 sun deck. Teens can get in there. Um, is the elevator, some elevators are quiet, some elevators are really loud. Somebody's dripping paint and it's getting on my nerves. They haven't cleaned it up yet. It's been there since the first day. But yeah, um, Expedition 270. Probably we're back up to Social 180. I think I can just scan my car to get in there. We'll see. Definitely. Should explore since on the last day. Alrighty, so over by one of the beams. So what you do is you go into your app. I don't know if you can see it. Scroll over, click 270, start adventure. And it gives you a map. I don't know if you can see it or not. A map of. 270 and where all of the things are. So let's go hunting. All right, everybody, sail away is done. I realized I haven't talked about, wow, my wind-blown hair is awesome. Um, getting ready to go to dinner. It's about like 10 minutes, so let's see what we get into after dinner. I don't think we have a show. We don't have a show tonight, so what's we get into tonight? I have to pack on a lot of stuff, so we'll see what we get into. That little dot out there, ladies and gentlemen, is the symphony of the seas following us. 
Uh, they're going to Miami tomorrow. We're going to Fort Lauderdale, whatever lates. So yeah, I was like, let me go look and see because we're going 10 knots. They're probably just like 10-ish miles behind us. So how we pass us at some point. Because they have to get to Miami, which is farther than Fort Lauderdale. So, we're going to get you tonight, but dinner was good. Final dinner. I am fighting the wind. No idea if you can even hear me. But yeah, we'll see what we can get you. Alright, hey everybody. Um, there are two ships right here. One of them is the Symphony of the Seas, and one of them is the Celebrity Millennium. And I think I see the Edge all the way out there. And we have Symphony and the Millennium. It is the end of our final night on board the, the Odyssey of the Seas uh, dinner. Appetizer was crispy coconut shrimp. Uh, good. Um, love that appetizer. Uh, I'm tired, so, like, struggling. Um, my favorite entree is tonight. The cheese tortellini got two of them. And then for dessert, I got the gosh, dark chocolate brownie. Uh, that was pretty good. I would get that again. I was just really full at that point. And then I also got the no sugar added profiteroles. Um, they you definitely tell they're no sugar added, but I probably won't get them again, but you know, we'll see. Uh, Coco Key was amazing. Just kind of sat by the pool, had Coco Locos chicken sandwiches, all that fun stuff. Uh, actually, you can see that that one's the Millennium and that one's Alright everybody, jumping in here in the middle of this segment here. What I've said and what I'm possibly going to say uh, about Symphony of the Seas is wrong. Symphony is out in front of us. That is the carnival. Carnival spirit. And I was like looking at it. I was like, that does not really look like Symphony of the Seas. So went back and double check. It's carnival spirit. I think heading to Miami. Uh, but yeah, so let's jump back in it. I just wanted to correct myself there because I was wrong. It is uh, kind of a spirit, not some fantasies. Um, just because the Millennium is heading out and um, the symphony is going out, away, and I can see Edge is getting farther away. Uh, so yeah, we had an amazing day today. Tomorrow we're flying home. Unfortunate, but you know, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching this cruise travel life video. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever we upload a brand new video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time as we fly home.